Hey guys, welcome back to We're in the Garden, and this is what it's looking like. I'm gonna prune this whole bush back. As you guys see, I started already. Let's give you a wider view. This is how big it's looking. And I'm gonna chop it all the way back so I'll have room in here to walk around and do things. So this side, I decided to not cover but I'm just gonna put all those branchings and sticks in there and hopefully it will deter the cats away from my garden from the um, thorns of the roses so I'm gonna stick it right there in the area back there and the rest of the flowers will come up this way and around and my food okay so I am definitely gonna be chopping this bush back as you can see I started already she looks bald in there I'm gonna push her back some more and just let her grow out because she's gonna grow out some more she just bloomed all the way out so I'm gonna cut it back again before the summer starts and she's gonna bloom out again so I'm gonna have to cut it back some more but this is what she's looking like so far all right guys so look under this bush here look how thick this bush is there's two of these bushes under here and they're really thick but there's so much of the wood there's no leaves just leaves growing there's no roses trying to bud out or anything so I just cut all those dead ones out of there which really looks good too so many skinny ones that are dying, but the branches, but as you can see, there's nothing there but a lot of thorns, so I'm definitely trying to cut those out too. You know, I might have to prune this bush like three times before the summer's over with, so one time I did already, and it just bloomed and blossomed all the way out, so it's the second time, but yeah, so as far as this what it got done, I'm just going to go around all the way around the bush, I still have some more ways to go, but part I just want to cut around her lower branches so I can maybe work around here without getting stuck by these thorns you see how thick the thorns are on these branches so I want to cut all that away so I can maybe work under there too and also get the shade where she needs to be at all right guys so we'll be back side right there where that board is and just pile it all the way up on that side and then move everything out towards this way it's looking good so far all right guys now so i figured since i'm doing the garden and cutting the bush back the rose bush back and putting my flowers and plants down i decided i wanted to do a little uh compost bed i'll show you guys that and also i decided to do me a little trellis so my son is cutting down the pieces of uh wood and that's all we have to do so i have two pieces so i have actually three pieces i cut one piece already he has the other two pieces because i want to show you guys you know how me you know just cutting the wood down for that now i'm going to show you how i built the trellis now my son's going to cut that for me if that keeps getting in the way there we go and that's all we have to do pieces that get in the way we just cut off so we can still be able to walk out here all right and so far like in my old box back here so I'm gonna try to keep this back here my 
my compost bed back there. I'm gonna get a bigger uh, piece of wood to put back there. But my trellis, I'm about to put some rope around here so I can show you. And my son wants to grow some pickling cucumbers so we can have some pickles. guys we are back so this is our DIY trellis that we made this is just going to, to hold the pickling cucumbers um, I'm not sure if it's gonna hold but we're gonna try if not then we'll just have to get tighter rope for it but so this is what it's looking like so far and we put uh, our cucumbers in this little teeny bed here that I made okay and the trellis may be catching what it looks like so far and then i wanted to get a piece of uh, i think it's called plywood to put it back in here so i can have a, bed, a compost bed right here in this area here all right and i think i'm still going to put some more of this mesh around here and then put a stick here so i can hold it and be tight and because i really don't want any cats moving on my compost peeing on it gross so yeah that's what you know it's looking like so far all right so i'll come back to you when everything is complete and cleaned up so i decided i want to grow some kale so we're going to try this kale this blue uh dwarf blue curl vex kale okay but that i got from the dollar tree it takes let's see, about 55 days it says so we'll see i'm going to grow it in this container here and then I'm going to show you the end result of what this garden looks like afterwards. All right, guys. So I am finally finished. I chopped her back and down. Well, not down, but I chopped her all the way back, especially under there. She definitely needed a lot of more pruning than I thought under there. So I did a lot of that. Still needs more, but I'm going to leave her for the time being under there. I just piled more dirt on her. I made a little compost bed in the back of those sticks there. So I had me a little compost. So hopefully within a couple months, this will be broken down. So I just used all the branches that I pulled down on there. And as you can see, I have my fig tree, my orange tree right back in there. I have a little small bed. And this is going to be my son's cute. And then we try to make a little chalice there. So um, this is going to be the uh, cucumber bed right here. And I'm going to pull those out, those small sticks out, and get some more better uh, some better uh, string or whatever, and tie them around the bigger post to make a trellis. And I'm going to get a piece of plywood, you know, thin wood in the back of that, so I can keep my compost bed. Right, and I am going to have him block this off. So that's what that looks like so far, guys. like so I still have like plenty of room to grow some more things if I want to I was thinking about getting red potatoes and piling them up, piling them up under there we'll see how it goes we'll see those are my cabbages I watered everything these are the cucumbers that grows in a basket I'm not certain if I planted any more llama beans in there, but we'll see if they start growing. <laughs> okay, and then we have our collard greens. Our spinach is looking lovely. Our spinach is looking marvelous. All right, of course those potatoes, the sweet potatoes are. So that's what she looks like. And then I gotta clean this off. This is not my dirt and mud that's stuck on here, so I'm gonna clean this off tomorrow. But then here also, she looks good. Okay. Also with this part over here, I'm gonna have him put two more of the planks in. Probably one here and maybe one here. Hopefully it's a stand up. I'll probably have them put two both there. So this can stand up more because it's bending in. Now that I cut the bush back, it's definitely bending in. So we're going to fix that. And that's 
what it looks like guys so if you like these type of videos please give me a big thumbs up also hit the subscription button guys and that, yes, that doesn't hurt it's free also uh, hit your bell notification notifies you when I upload a video and also if you guys like these type of videos don't forget to subscribe let's grow together so we can eat together